Hi everyone, this is Carl from Smart Meter Card. We've gotten a lot of questions about grounding Faraday cages and whether they need to be grounded or not. And technically, a Faraday cage doesn't need to be grounded to block RF. So we set up this little experiment to demonstrate this. What we have here is a Faraday cage, a Smart Meter Guard. We have a Wi-Fi router emitting 900 megahertz of RF. We have a metal bottom. We have a grounding wire. And we have an HF35C high frequency analyzer. So we're going to turn this on. And you can see the display down here is actually measuring what this router is emitting. About uh, 1,000 microwatts per square meter, roughly. So what we do is if we put this Faraday cage over the router without any grounding, you can see that the RF power drops quite rapidly down to about 20 or 40. We'll let that settle down. It's about 20, 14, 17 microwatts per square meter. We're going to attach the ground, ground it to earth ground through this power plug. And you can see there's essentially no change. So I'm going to demonstrate this again. I'll take the grounding off. We have this without grounding, no grounding at all. You can see the Wi-Fi router is emitting mm, almost 2,000 microwatts per square meter. As I put the Faraday cage on it, no grounding at all. You can see the RF power level drops down to 15 or 20 microwatts per square meter. So um, this is, again, a demonstration that Faraday cages do not need to be grounded to block high-frequency RF waves. Thanks.